Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Snitchy's in the room. He's got his dog here as well. Everybody's mm. on. Recap of the week. Let's get stuck into it. Let's kick off this recap with a rumour that's been going around for a long time. Women's health and men's health will shut down forever. But this week... How funny is this? ...was finally confirmed. So you were asked by men's health to do the six-month transformation. Six months? Yeah. Hey, wake up. He's done it, guys. It's been years of dancing around it, but he's finally admitted it. They said, Whipper, we want your hot rig on the front cover. Tell everyone how long you lasted. Well, I mean, there was an injury... Two sessions. I'm out, guys. There's actually one. Now that's dedication. You are the only one that pulled out. <laughs> I'm still recovering, mate. The mental fortitude oh. of Michael Whipfleet. Pumpkin ravioli. Throw it at my face. And you know, I hate to give him credit, but Matt DeGroote did have the best gag in this chat. We'll get you on the cover of Men's Wealth. Oh, <laughs> oh mate. Jeez, man, if you keep up that quality gear, Kate might actually learn what your name is. MVV. MPP. And, um, sorry. MVP. <laughs> MVP's good. Oh. Oh, most valuable player. Oh, he's got we it. We can go with MVP. Okay, mate. Most valuable pig it is. Oi, come on, pig. Julia Morris and Dr. Chris Brown both joined the show this week. Hold tight for two seconds, Brown. Oh, I'm holding tight, all right. I know you are. And Dr. Chris Brown managed to sneak in this dig right before the interview kicked off. You're going with a polo shirt today, Whipper. That's a surprise. Can you see us? Oh. Brown, you, own one of, you own one of those, don't you? Mate, I hardly ever wear this shirt. You get a new shirt with every oh. Range Rover you What are you doing? So it's... <laughs> And Fitz could not have been happier. Oh, this is great. Channel 10. And it didn't stop there, because Bob Odenkirk joined them this week from, uh, what show was he from again, Whip? Better Call Saul. Nope. Uh, better Call Saul. Nope. Saul. Still wrong. Saul. Never mind. It's Better Call Saul. Bob Odenkirk, this is an honour. You're looking good, mate. Well, I'm doing my best. I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> and he threw in this little cheeky dig right after the interview ended. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Bob. Good luck with the radio. Maybe it'll work out. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I've noticed since Kate's been on the show. Cleo from Clay Valley. Hi, Cleo. Hi, guys. It's just how many people she knows. Now, can I just j- jump in for yeah. a second? Yeah. Cleo, what's your mum's name? Julie. I know Cleo. <laughs> When she doesn't know them personally... I think my nan taught you in school. Somehow they know her. Oh, what was her name? Mrs King. I know Mrs King. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, it seems like half of Sydney knows Kate personally. Hello. Hey, Julie. Julie. (laughs) And on the other hand, we can't get Whipper's dad to even acknowledge that he exists. Hello. Dad. (laughs) 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 Love you, Dad. Great story. (laughs) Well done, mate. Something I've been enjoying on the show recently is Kate and Whipper going head-to-head in I'm Still Standing. Almond Honeycomb Crunch, Classic and Ego Caramel are all flavours of what? Kit Kat. No. (laughs) Can't believe you've gone out on a Magnum ice cream question. It's really shone a light on just how competitive Kate is. Rubbish. Oh, so good. So competitive, in fact, that her reaction to this question made Matt DeGroot swear live on air. Yes! Oh, oh, Thank you. Oh, my, oh my God. Is <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, it's been a while since I've used this one. Matt DeGroot has up again. Woo! Come on. Before we go, it's been a while since we've gone for a stroll through the Questions Hall of Fame. Come and take a walk with me. On your left, you'll see legendary interviewer Liz Hayes. I'm Liz Hayes. Yes, you are. Absolutely wetting myself as I sit here. OK, Liz, well, the bathroom's down that way if you need it. I'm Liz Hayes. On your left, you'll see someone else who likes to ask the hard questions. It's Paul Murray. Mark Latham all the way. Yeah, thank you, mate. One Nation. Tell me, have you lost weight? I've grown into being morbidly obese. Oh, OK, good for you. I'll have a moo Coming up right in front of us here, we've got Michael Whipley and his infamous question. Have you got a dog, and, um, Eva? I really want to get in the cabby day. We will never forget that one. Good. Eleanor, what you do you normally day. wear to bed? Eleanor, what do you wear to bed? <laughs> do I have to answer that? But our new addition to the Hall of Fame this week is this question from Fitzy. Do you, yeah. do you have you, uh, do you, but you, I, see, this is, I, I don't think you would be. Ah, mate, it looks like we're going to run out of time. It, is that, does it, uh, it do you ch- spa- cheat? Um, See you guys next week. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova.